It's being described as the Trojan horse of coal seam gas approvals. A controversial project in the Pilliga Forest has been granted special status by the state government. The move has outraged farmers and environmentalists in the state's northwest. Sheep farmer David Quince is smarting from what he sees as a major backflip by the O'Farrell government. It's going to be a ramped up opposition against this. We're very, very concerned that an announcement like this should come out even before the chief scientist uh, has come out, Mary O'Kane, with her final assessment of coal seam gas. The grazier is vehemently opposed to the Narrabri gas project that would see up to 850 CSG wells in the nearby Pilliga Forest. He says fracking could damage groundwater and with this region acting as the major eastern refill for the Great Artesian Basin, he says that could be a national issue. Policy. The community must trust the government processes and I think it should have faith in a company such as Santos which has been producing gas for 60 years. Under a memorandum of understanding signed by the government and gas company, Santos has achieved a strategic energy project status for its Narrabri plans, meaning the assessment process will be fast-tracked. For the government to brand this an energy security policy, to sign a deal with the company just makes a mockery of due process. I am not an advocate of this industry. I'm someone that is approaching this with a new set of eyes. The minister, who's replaced Chris Harcher, says there are still hoops to jump through, but he says the people of New South Wales need to understand a significant shortfall of gas is imminent. And under this deal, Santos could supply more than 50% of the state's needs. For me, uh, would I have an issue with uh, a coal seam gas well on my property? Uh, not now. That's a distinct shift from the Deputy Premier's position last year. I wouldn't want a, a CSG well five metres from my property. The Greens say they'll refer the agreement to the Independent Commission Against Corruption. Letitia Lemke, ABC News, Sydney.